Hey guys, good afternoon. How are you guys? Well, thank you for watching this channel. And this is what I gotta show you today. Uh, my channel is not really about this, but um, I, I have an issue with my fish tank that I tried finding any videos about it. And uh, there, there aren't that many. Uh, and some of them are just uh, not the ones I was looking for. But uh, here's what I wanna show you. My fish tank is about a 10 gallon tank. It's, it's took me a while to get it together and get it to work the right way but today um, I gotta show you this there actually is a sort of algae clear algae it looks like white algae or whatever it is let me try to zoom in here see that in the right in the uh, plants in the roots now <clears throat> it's everywhere basically now I don't know what this you know is what causes this but uh, it's actually a problem um, it is not harmful to the fish and it, as, a matter, as a matter of fact I've seen fish eating it and it doesn't cause a problem but well it's not presentable and if you let it if you let this thing grow this algae or fungus whatever it is it gets into your filter if it gets into your filter it, it clogs your filter everything about it see all that um, it clogs the filter now the fish again they don't get harmed by it but um, you can you will see this algae or small small film growing in the surface of the water right now there's none because the filter that I have basically uh, is, is good that it sucks uh, all that through but it goes into the filter itself and since it's a live bacteria I guess it grows into it or it grows in it now I'm not a professional in all this uh, you know my channel is not even about fish tanks or anything but uh, I don't have uh, I didn't have information when I was looking for it or what it was about or what the algae was about and I, I figured maybe I just put it out there and hopefully help somebody how to get rid of this why it helps it and uh, maybe what type of treatment we can give it and as most fish uh, uh, professionals I guess will say or would agree that this thing is not harmful at least that I that I know of but uh, if left untreated, you can grow, get into your, you know, filtration system, and I think it eventually will harm your fish. I had this problem before, and I had never, um, I never made a video about it. But today it's gonna be the day about it. So look, uh, we have a lot of that little tiny hairline. Um, it looks like regular algae but it's not your regular algae it's actually this thing is is bad it's a slime that gets into your tank it grows into the surfaces of it um, it gets attached to it and um, you can have this thing worse um, in about a week it, get, it can get that bad and if you let more time pass it grows even bigger and it becomes a bigger problem so um, what you do, uh, or what I have done and what has worked, um, is to do just simple water treatment. Uh, I mean water changes, do 30% uh, or 40% at least uh, every other day for maybe three weeks straight. You will see the, uh, um, how the fish tank becomes better, cleaner, and how happy the fish look afterwards. Now, <clears throat> you do this for at least every two days um, or every other day and you'll 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 see the difference um, but if you left if left untreated again it will clog your filtration uh, this thing is not your regular um, um, algae or or that film that grows out of the driftwood in case people will ask or say hey you know that's just driftwood um, algae or whatever it is I'll, again I'm not a professional about this or in this I just you know want to make the video to help those out 
that maybe are interested in understanding this. Now, uh, the as you see, as you see, my driftwood it's very clean. Um, there's no algae in it. There's nothing growing in it. Um, this is something else. So you do your water uh, changes uh, 30 to 40 percent every other day or every two days, and I say about three weeks. For you do that for about three weeks. One of the things that I did is I I stopped using uh, all the nutrients. Um, that I would put in my water uh, just you know I, I was just uh, I stayed with just uh, uh, my regular water treatment uh, uh, I forgot what it's called but it's this one here this is what I used and I never had a problem with this this is great but now <clears throat> that's the only one thing that I will use during the process of getting rid of this and what helps the most, I figure, is to try to really pick that algae or that fungus out of the roots of the plants uh, with your own hands. You do that and um, um, try to do those water changes while you're doing that. So uh, all the algae gets uh, cleared out and eventually you will see uh, an improvement on it uh, in your fish tank. Again, it will be about three weeks uh, process, but it is possible. After that, just stick to your own routine uh, that you were used to. Go back to your uh, using your, uh, I guess, some, the same nutrients that you were using. Because I use all type of nutrients for my plants, for my fish, uh, for my water. But, see you guys, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, having a fish tank, it's, it's not simple. It's not that simple. You, it takes a while to get it settled then you have to spend and invest so much money in it but um, after proper care you will feel proud of your fish tank and this is mr. Finn uh, you can say hi to them uh, say hi to them mr. Finney uh, anyways take care guys thank you for watching don't forget to like or dislike if you don't like the video again I'm not a professional and my channel is not about this however it is necessary to put it out there so people can understand what it is. Oh, I want to show you something before I go. See, there's the algae right there on my heater. Right there. You can see that clearly. And this can get worse in about a, in two or three days if you don't take care of it. So, uh, clean your tank, guys. Don't forget you do your um, water treatment. I mean, your water changes. And you'll be all right every two days or every other day depending uh, depending on how bad your fish tank is anyways sorry if my video is like a little shaky but uh, again i don't do this type of videos so take care guys good day and see you